Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Star Versus. Today I'm going to be going up against Kinder Beauty Box. I went ahead and subscribed to them and I've been receiving these lovely little boxes that you can see here. Now the thing about Kinder Beauty Box which makes it different from all the other beauty boxes out there is that everything that you receive in these boxes is 100% vegan and cruelty free. So of course I had to get one. I did get their January box, but unfortunately I had received it so late in the month and then things like life get in the way. I ended up not posting that video and opted for something else instead. But today I'm going to try and get this up at the very, very last day of February to let you know about this amazing subscription box. So like I said, got my box. The only drawback that I have noticed with this particular subscription, for me at least, is that it ends up getting in my mailbox at the very, very end of the month. When you're trying to do something like, you know, vlog your opening of a box and let people know about it, it kind of deters from the fact that I'm doing it at the very end. But we're going to do it anyway. As with most boxes that I've seen on the internet and from ones that my friends have gotten, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, you know, you get your box, it comes with an insert that tells you everything that you're going to be getting in the box and round about what their value is. For my subscription, I believe it's like 26 a month. There are other programs, you could do it yearly, you can do it like bi-yearly for how many boxes you want. I'm gonna go ahead and link that information down below so that you can see if this is something that you would like to get. This is a lot of spoilers, why don't we just go through the box and then I'll read off the card what each thing is. Oh no. So the first thing I'm seeing in this box is something that I'm not good at doing at all, and that is a set of eyelashes. I mean, um, I think we're gonna save putting these on for another video, just because, I mean, for me, putting on lashes is just next to impossible. I still haven't figured it out. I mean, I've tried watching so many videos on how to do this, and I one ends up way up here, and uh, it's a mess. But um, I will give these a shot. We'll save that for another video. These specific lashes are H171 False Eyelashes Mini Vegan Adhesive Included. So you're not just getting cruelty-free eyelashes, you're getting vegan adhesive, which is really cool. The market value for this is about $9. So that's not a bad thing. I'm, like I said, I'm gonna have to give that a whirl on a different day when I'm feeling braver. Next, let's see, we'll just reach in and pull out it came with a Delia Organics Skin Detox Rehab Mask. It comes with about two ounces of it. This is what it looks like. Oh, so it's kind of like that, um, like that mud mask that the pink clay that you can get from Australia. It looks really cool. I can't wait to try that. I'm not gonna try it right now. Right now we're just unboxing. We'll do, we'll do maybe a beauty video where we, uh, do some self-care a different day. This one says, Skin Detox Rehab Mask, try saying that 10 times fast, with French pink clay and papaya extract. And its market value is at $22. So, I mean, like, I've already gotten back what I put into the box, so that's kinda cool. Moving along, we'll go into the next item. Is there anything I can try out now? Ambriche 24 Karat Lips. It says, it is a liquid lipstick. It's a waterproof, transfer-proof, all-day wear formula that still provides extremely lightweight feel. Our collection comes in a range of beautiful, bold, muted mauves and neutral nudes, which is cool. It's pretty much what I usually wear besides like glaring red or burgundy. So that works out well for me. And this one says that it is at market value $28. The color I got was... Hashtag come get me. Awesome. <laughs> Let's go and try it out. I don't mind. Let's do this. It's really pretty. It comes in a nice tube. It's about, let's see how many ounces it comes with. It comes with 4.3 milliliters. I mean, that's a significant amount of lip gloss, especially if it's working all day long and doesn't come off. We'll find out. It's got a very interesting little foot to it. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Well, it's got a really smooth feel. It's definitely non-pleasant. It kind of smells like coconut, 
So, I mean, that's definitely not offensive to me at all. A little bit more brown than I would normally go for for myself, but you know, we're here to try new things. That's the whole point in getting a beauty box is trying something that you wouldn't normally try or have access to or even know about. So, I mean, it's not a loss at all. I am not mad at it. I mean, I'll probably just, I'll, I'll give it a whirl, I'll try it. Okay, so the when it dries, it does dry matte. It doesn't feel unpleasant or tight or like, um, I don't know if you've ever experienced when you put on one of those 24 hour no smudge, no move lipsticks. They usually, especially the liquids, tend to dry kind of cakey and feel like it's gonna crack on your lips after it dries. This one's pretty flexible. It does not feel unpleasant. I actually, I really like this. I wish I had, they had sent me a little bit more of a pinky shade, but you know. Next we have Derma E Nourishing Rose Cleansing Oil, deluxe size. Um, it does not have a market value on it, so I don't know how much this stuff would cost in a store or what have you. It's a it says our rinse-free cleansing oil leaves your skin feeling superbly moisturized, along with an improved soft and dewy appearance, leaving your skin and oils in balance. It delivers a concentrated boost of intense antioxidant rich moisture for a healthy tone, renewed texture, and exceptional suppleness. I have an idea. Since this is a cleansing oil and this is one of those waterproof lipsticks, let's see how this oil holds up to this lipstick once it's dried on my hand. We'll see how it removes it and how it feels. So I'm not going to put this all over my face right this second. I'll let that dry. So this is, let's see, I don't know how many ounces this has. It's a sample, not for resale. How to use, gently massage a dime size amount onto dry face and neck. Using a warm damp cloth, wipe oil from your skin, use in the morning and evening. Ah, it says it's got seven milliliters of it. There we go. So that's what it looks like. It comes in a cute little pump. And I mean, one thing I like about these little sample sizes that you sometimes get in like things like this is that, you know, you have something you take along with you when you go places. All right, so my lipstick has dried on my hand. Let's see. Okay, so it click locks, that's nice. Whoa, okay, so quite a bit comes out. That is about dime size, which is about what you would need. So, yep. Really great makeup remover, if nothing else, right? Yep, completely removed the lipstick. Go ahead and tissue that off. It feels really velvety after you've wiped it off. I, I like this. I like the smell. It smells like roses. I love anything that smells like roses. It looks like we have one last item in our box, and that is the Kat Von D Tattoo Eyeliner in Black. Thank goodness, black eyeliner. Something that I will never not need. Um, it's market value is at $20, so I mean like her stuff isn't terribly priced in general, but it's nice to get in a box because I don't have any of her eyeliner. I think I have a couple of lipsticks somewhere, maybe. This got the super sharp tip. Might not be great to be using on the hand I just cleaned with a cleansing oil, but we're gonna find out, aren't we? So, you know. Liquid black liner is liquid black liner. It's pretty interesting. What's special about Kat Von D's? It says with a highly pigmented 24 hour formula. Okay, so that is something that's different. Um, that's also waterproof and transfer resistant. You can trust tattoo liner to stay put no matter what. The key is tattoo liners ultra precise brush tip. 325 flexible bristles come together in a tight crisp point ready to unleash any look imaginable. So that's something I can definitely use here in Florida because it's super humid and I have a problem sometimes with my liquid liner transferring off or moving. And since this is a waterproof liner, I will absolutely be incorporating this into my life. Thank you so much, Kinder Beauty Box. Now, as you can see, everything that came in here is super wearable, super usable, and pretty universal for just about anybody. I mean, I don't know anybody who can't use any of these things. Um, I mean, the, the lip color is subject, subject to personal taste. But I mean, most of us who do wear makeup, we do use black eyeliner, we do use liquid lipstick, we do use 
stuff to take the makeup off with. Hopefully you do. But everything in here is pretty cool. I'm really glad I got my box and I hope that you will enjoy yours as well if you end up subscribing to them. So interesting point of fact about Kinder Beauty boxes. It was founded by Ivana Lynch and the reason why you might recognize that name, if you ever watched the Harry Potter films, she played Luna Lovegood. I absolutely adore that character and I adore her for starting this lovely box. Um, her and Daniela Monet, who is of Nickelodeon type fame, um, they got together and founded the Kinder Beauty box. And I really do think it's a great, great thing to have started. It was definitely time for it, and I know a lot of people have been really excited about what they've gotten in their boxes. Um, the different plans they have, they have uh, per month if you just wanted to try it and not like commit, is $24 a month. So I was wrong earlier. For three months, it's 66, and that costs it at $22 a month. And then they have a year one, which is $239.40, which ends up being $19.95 per month for a box. And from what you've seen, from what I've reviewed, from what I've gone through on the price list, I mean, you can get that back with just one of the items that you receive in the box. So it is worth it. I'm definitely not mad at any of the products that I received and I'll definitely be using all of them. I'm really excited about this clay mask and we will try that together a different day. If you enjoy my videos, then please hit subscribe, ring my bell, and you'll get notified for future videos where I will definitely go through yet more products that you may or may not have heard of or wondering if they actually work. Um, I also do makeup tutorials occasionally, but I mean, I think I'm gonna go on with this unboxing thing. I think I'm going to continue to do this every month. And I think it's definitely a value to get the word out there about the kind of beauty box. Um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, you're more than welcome. I will link that down below along with all the information for Kinder Beauty Box, so if you wanted to get one for yourself, um, I will go ahead and link that for you so that you can get one of your very, very own. Lastly, please be good to yourselves, be good to each other, and be good to the planet. Bye.